Hi everyone, I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we are going to do some of the things related to experiment number four. Experiment number four, if you see your manual, that is related to manipulation of files or directories using system calls. Right? So in this primarily we will be discussing about the open DIR, read DIR, close DIR or MKDIR kind of system calls. Right? So the very first thing I will cover these things and then in coming sessions I will demonstrate few advanced things also. So in this particular session, I am going to demonstrate how we can create a directory using MKDIR system calls. So let's just start. So I have already written a code. For saving the time, I have already written a code. You can check D underscore create. So let's open it d underscore create file and let's check it so it is very easy code very small code uh, as you know that this int arg and argv i have taken i want to take the directory name from the command line if you don't want to take you can make it blank right and i also want to store the return value so i have taken one integer variable ret value or you can say return value and then I'm using mkdir. If you want to use mkdir, you need to use sys underscore type dot h and sys underscore stat dot h. Right? And here, after passing, either you type the directory name which you want to create in double quote, or because I want to take that name from command line, so I have passing argv1. I hope you understand this thing. And here you can pass the permissions. So when we create a directory or file, we need to set the mode on that. So whether user will have read permission or write permission or execute permission or group users will have read, write or execute kind of thing we can set. So here I am setting s underscore irwx, u means read, write, execute for user and read, write, execute for group user. Others I am not specifying. So others will not get any, any permission. If I remove this thing from here, then group users will also will not find out any permission. If you want to check the error, then you can apply some if statement here on return value. Okay, so you, you can check. So when the MKDIR will execute successfully, it returns zero on success, otherwise minus one. So that you can check. Otherwise, so if I you can check if ret value is equal to let's say minus one sorry then you can write some error message okay and if you want to print exact error message you can use p error function otherwise you can type anything like printf if you use printf you need to include stdio.h also so let's say i just write simple error i I'm not specifying here which type of error has been generated. Okay. To make it simple. I hope you are getting this. Alright. Now let me include that header file which is required. Okay. Now let's run it. So for compiling the program we need to use gcc i use gcc here compile it if i check a dot out file has been created so i can run it so i can run by typing dot slash a dot out and i need to specify a directory name so let's say i want to create dir1 if i create dir1 like this it will be created here in the present working directory, there is no directory created as dir1. So let me run it and check ls. See dir1 has been created. So it is dir1, it is given here. I hope you can see it. If you want to check the permissions, you can check with hyphen l option. You check dir1 is having read write execute 
for users and read write execute for groups and other permissions all are blank okay if i run it like this dot slash a dot out and if i want to create any specific directory let's say psc is one of the directory i want to create dir1 inside psc i can give like this and if i check ls psc you see dir1 has been created here if i run it like dir2 if i want to create here and if i check the content of psc dir1 and dir2 has been created okay so if you modify these permissions there is another way to give the permission in it so so let's check it if i modify this thing if you don't understand this argv and argc kind of thing then you can simply update it and don't bother whether you are passing these things or not you can remove these like this okay so if you are not comfortable with this command line argument don't pass and here i will pass the directory name in double quote okay so let's say i want to create dir3 let's say inside psc so psc is one of the directory and inside it i am creating dir3 okay permission let's say i only want to give for users so i can give permission like this or i can give permission like zero let's say i give 777 kind of thing seven means this is in octal format seven means read write execute for user next seven means read write execute for group users and seven means read write execute for other users okay i hope you are getting now we can execute it in this way also from command line i need not to pass in that case anything so i'm just saving it and we need to recompile this code and i can run it now if we check the contents of psc dir3 has been created okay and if you want to check the permissions on this you can check so dir3 is having read write execute for users groups and here also okay by default write permission it is not giving for others but rest of the permission has been set okay so let me open the code so this is a very easy program how to create a directory okay next session we look how to read a directory and how to delete a directory so i'm closing this session thank you everyone